discuss the basics. Okay, Teresa? Okay, you'll see that I've got Julys on there too. So I went ahead since today's the last day of the month. Um, yesterday I made sure made sure all the checks cleared. Um, June um, the um, beginning balance was one thousand one hundred seventy nine dollars and eighty cents. I transferred eight thousand dollars out of the savings account, so it put us at nine thousand one hundred seventy nine. Uh, phone and internet two hundred fifty two eighteen. Rent or lease is two hundred. Um, electric was forty six sixty eight. Gas was forty three twenty three. Uh, let's see repairs and maintenance. I think that's where it's at. Hold on, I got to get a sheet here. Repairs and maintenance was thirty seven sixty three. That was on the this big copy machine here. The rollers were broke. Uh, building and con uh, no no building content. Um, office. Supplies 431.46. That's tables and chairs, and um, seems like there was something else that I can't remember, but it was tables and chairs. Where is that these notebooks? Uh, that would be under Office. well, and that might have been the other one that might have been what the other thing was because I think the tables and chairs was like $396. Okay, uh, advertising and subscriptions was $2720. Wages, $1,790.26. Insurance was $733.81. Federal and state, or federal and state tax, and I think that was just a state tax, was a $37.50. Miscellaneous expenses uh, was $25, and I'd have to look that up and see what it is. Um, mileage for meal driver was $204.80. Um, other was the 102, and that was the housekeeping assistance uh, for that one client that we have. So total checks written was $3,931.75, so the account balance was 5248 Now, if you flip over on the other side, then you'll see that... Um, 35,179.80, we had a $15.90 interest payment, the 25,000 CD and the $5,000 CD still in there. 13,380 was the savings account, we took out 8,000. We had a um, interest added from the CD of 179.40. So total altogether, with including the balance of the checking account, was 75,978.25. Okay, go back to that last column on the front page. So the beginning balance was $5,248.05. Transfer $2,000. 82029 was for um, the Lincoln Senior Center. It was under non budgeted. Uh, phone and internet was $110.36. Rent was $200. Uh, utilities, rent. No, wait a minute here. Eee. That can't be right. Rent, let's see. Electric was seventy-three fifty-six. <coughs> Gas was sixty forty-four. Um, office supplies was sixty-five forty-seven. Advertising and subscriptions was ninety-nine dollars. Forty dollars for transportation. Uh, fifteen ninety three thirty five was for wages, seven thirty three eighty one for was insurance, twelve ninety seven ten was both federal and state taxes, two oh four eighty for meal delivery, sixty eight for um, the housing house cleaning assistance, and so that leave the whole, total checks written was five thousand three hundred sixty six eighteen leaves an ending balance of eighteen eighty seven eighty seven. 8187. <coughs> okay, so 35,195.70. We haven't gotten the uh, days, today's interest added yet, so I'll, that'll be on next month. The 25,000, the 5,000, and $5,550.40 was in the savings account, subtract out 2,000. Leaves in, so that leaves us with $3,550 in the savings account. Total funds available is seventy thousand six twenty seven fifty seven. So that's current. Okay.
as of the, as of today. As of today. Okay. Uh, question. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. How come the gas bill is so expensive? This is more than my house. Yeah, because we're doing a deposit as we go. There's a deposit that you have to put on because we're new to the building. We didn't have gas before, so we're putting on a deposit. For how That's long? Why. That, I, I don't know. I, she just told me that there would be a deposit added to it. So, like I said, um, and that's why last month, because the only thing that runs off of the gas is the hot water heater, and it's turned completely down. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, there. yeah. And, and I'm not sure on the furnace whether it has a pilot light or not. See, that's what, what it is, is a pilot light, because it's not the new furnaces that don't have the... Um, Excuse me. Well, like I said, that's more well, than Dave, my I, whole house. <laughs> Dad, uh, it doesn't have the electronic ignition on Yeah, that's right. Place. That doesn't have that. Okay. I got another question. Uh -huh. You had a couple of Cora homeless? Yes. yes. So where is that money going? It's in this bag here. I haven't deposited yet. Okay. It says postage here. There's no no postage for the month of July. Pardon? There's no postage paid for the month of July. No. I well, I, no, 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 no. I buy I buy rolls of a hundred. So where's that located? That would be. It was back in April. In May, May, yeah. April. April. See, postage. She postage. Yep, postage, 148.80. So, a uh, roll of 100 would be 40... 50. I just bought a roll. <laughs> I was going to say I did too, and it was $50. Yeah. So, well, see, I think it was $50, so it must have went up a penny. Well, I was told it went up a long time ago, that I need to get up with the time, so... <laughs> <laughs> but I roll, but I buy postage by the roll. Any other questions or comments? You had one. Oh, the postage. Yeah, yeah. we have that. And the twenty-five dollars was for signage on the window. That was from to Gary Coon. Twenty-five dollars. He put the signage on the window. Yeah, so it's easier for people to see where you are and so forth. Okay. All right. Back to the agenda. Uh, old business, the new bylaws, if you'll split back in your paper. The, and we'll be referring to um, the map that you see there, too. We'll be, re be referring to that. So... Okay, let's just read, I'll read through the uh, new bylaws, and um, then if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Okay, section, article one, name. Name of the organization shall be Lincoln County Council on Aging, Incorporated, uh, 206 East Court, Lincoln, Kansas, 67455. That was, of course, a change of address from the old one. Object, Article 2, to work for the senior population and provide services necessary to keep them in their homes. To determine, one, to determine and prioritize needs of aging persons 60 and older. Keep informed on the needs and interests of the aging in Lincoln County. To interpret the needs of the aging to the larger community. Four, to promote services and social fellowship through Lincoln County. To contribute to a more meaningful life for aging citizens. To establish a comprehensive plan of both short and long range goals on aging. Six, to represent the seniors of Lincoln County to the county commissioners 
and to the North Central Flint Hills Area Agency on Aging. Seven, to recommend to the County Commissioners names of persons for appointment to the North Central Flint Hills Area, Aging on, Area Agency on Aging Board of Directors. Eight, to be a 501c3 charitable nonprofit corporation which may accept gifts, grants, contributions, and estates designed to be used for the purposes of the Lincoln County Council on Aging Incorporated. Article 3, Members. Now that's where you may want to pull your map out and refer to it. Okay? There will be seven county council members with at least 70% of the membership being 60 years and older. Two representatives shall be appointed from each of these three districts within Lincoln County. District 1 includes Elkhorn Valley and Franklin Townships. District 2 includes Marion, Beaver, Logan, Scott, Colorado, Madison, and Salt Creek Townships. District 3 includes Pleasant, Indiana, Golden Belt, Highland, Vesper, Cedron, Hanover, Grant, Orange, and Battle Creek Townships. One representative shall be at large from Lincoln, from Lincoln County seat, which would be the city of Lincoln. Okay. Number two, openings will be advertised in the official Lincoln County newspaper. Anyone may recommend an individual for membership to the board. The board will vote on all persons interested in the position then the new board members of the Lincoln County Council on Aging Board of Directors shall be recommended for appointment to the Lincoln County Commissioners for approval. Number three, board members will serve a two-year term with no board members serving more than two consecutive terms. Representatives are eligible for reappointment after being off the board one year following two consecutive terms. Terms shall be staggered to ensure continuity. Four, if a person is appointed to fill an unexpired term, it will be considered a part of his or her term if more than half of the unexpired term remains to be served. If less than half remains to be served, it will not be considered the appointee's term. Five, executive officers shall be elected annually at the December meeting and shall begin serving immediately. Officers shall serve no more than two consecutive years in the same office. Six, any board member missing three unexcused meetings within the calendar year will no longer be considered a member of the Lincoln County Council on Aging Incorporated, and the board will be looking at replacing that board member. Seven, a member wishing to leave the board must submit a written notice of resignation to the secretary of the board. Eight. A member may be removed from the board by a majority vote of the remaining board. 9. The North Central Flint Hills Area Aging on a Agency on Aging shall serve as consultant to the Lincoln County Council on Aging Incorporated. Other professional agencies and individuals may be invited to serve in the consultant role as technical advisors. Officers, Article 4. 1. President of the Council on Aging shall be the Chief Executive Officer of the Council. The President shall preside at all meetings of the Council and of the Executive Committee. The President shall appoint all chairpersons of all standing committees. These appointments will be subject to the approval of the Council. Two, Vice President of the County Council on Aging shall function in the absence of the President and shall discharge those duties duties found necessary by the Council. The Treasurer with the County Coordinator shall keep an accurate record of all financial transactions and shall prepare a financial report at least monthly or as necessary. Four, the Secretary with the County Coordinator keep an accurate record of the proceedings of the County Council on Aging. The record shall be open always to reasonable inspection by any member. Record of all meetings shall be kept on file for an indefinite period. Financial records will be kept according to IRS guidelines. Five, the fiscal year of the Lincoln County Council on Aging shall commence 
on the first day of January and shall end on the last day of December. Article 5, Meetings. The meetings of the County Council on Aging shall be at 9 a.m. on the fourth Tuesday of each month, unless otherwise designated. I want to point out that that's a change in the time, because we have a couple of people, myself included, who deliver meals or are involved in the meal program. Oh, that's something we need to vote on. What that's yeah, we'll need to we'll need to approve the whole thing, but I'm just <coughs> pointing pointing that out, okay? The president shall designate the place of the meeting. The president shall call special meetings at any time. Two, a simple majority shall constitute oops, sorry, constitute a quorum of any regularly or properly called meeting. Three, only council members have voting rights at council meetings. Four, any person, regardless of age, may attend the regularly scheduled monthly meeting. If an individual wants to be placed on the agenda, they must notify the president or the county coordinator for prior approval by the president regarding subject matter to be discussed no less than one week prior to the regularly scheduled monthly meeting. Five, individuals may record public meetings but are subject to reasonable rules to prevent disruption of the meeting, safety hazards, and other legitimate concerns. Uh, Article 6, Executive Board. The executive power of the council shall be invested in the executive committee, president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer, which have charge of all affairs of the Lincoln County Council on Aging Incorporated and shall have the authority perform to do and perform all acts and functions in accordance with these bylaws. Two, the executive committee has full power to act on all decisions on behalf of the council between regular meetings. All decisions will be reported on the, at the next regular meeting. Three, only executive committee members have voting rights at executive committee meetings. Article seven, committees. There shall be such standing committees as are necessary for the conduct of business and programs of the organization. Article 8, Parliamentary Authority. Meetings will be conducted according to Robert's Rules of Parliamentary Procedure. Article 9, Amendments. The bylaws may be amended and will go into effect following an affirmative majority vote of the council voting at any regular or special meeting. Notice must be given of all council members two weeks prior to the date set for the uh, meeting in which the amendments are to be voted on. Article 10, Dissolution. Upon the dissolution of the organization, the County Council on Aging will pay or make provisions for, all of the, for payment of all liabilities incurred by the organization, Remaining assets may be given to a nonprofit organization that provided service in one or more of the following areas, charitable, education, or religious. Prior to the receipt of the rema remaining assets, the county must assure that the receiving organization is under the 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Code of 1954 or correspondence corresponding provisions of any future United States revenue law. These bylaws were amended. Okay? All right? Any questions or comments? So what's going to happen then? Teresa's is going to give the checkbook over to Charlene DeWitt. Charlene will make all the checks out payable. Teresa won't handle it. Give it the Treasury report any longer. We've got to Charlene. Is that right? That's how I read this. Okay, that they will work in conjunction with each other. Okay. I don't want I don't want the checkbook at my house. I'll come up here to sign checks, but I don't think I should. Yeah, you're you're, you're going to give the financial report from now on. Chris won't be doing that no longer. That's why these bylaws are read. They're written. Okay. Chris is the coordinator. She's not the treasurer. The treasurer with the county coordinator will keep an accurate record of all financial tra transactions and she shall prepare a financial report at least monthly or as necessary. 
so they work in conjunction with each other. That, with, and I understand that. Okay. And I understand that. But right here, Teresa writes out all the checks. She comes in and signs them. She needs to come in and write the checks and have her sign them. That's a treasurer's. That's a treasurer's job. What is her? What's her job then? Except for signing a check. Mm -hmm. She don't give us any financial reports. You know, Teresa does that. Mm -hmm. That's her job. Isn't that right? Well, yes. No, I'm, we, I want to know. Is that right or not? Well, um, uh, and I also, in when Charlene is not available, you are allowed to, I, you're allowed I, to sign I'm, checks. I'm allowed to sign checks, right. and I make sure, and I uh, uh, always make sure that the checks are are uh, written out properly and appropriately. But you don't get the financial report. No. Because you're not the treasurer, you're the, you're the president right there, it's the treasurer. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to sign that. Mm -hmm. But Charlene won't have access to all of that information unless she... She coordinates with Teresa. Mm -hmm. but that, that's, and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But right there's the treasurer, right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which she already, which you already do. You come yeah. in and... I come up here when she calls me and says, checks need to be signed, so I'll come up and sign them. And review, review who is made out to and how much mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. If it's an un... if it's if it's my name, and then I'll I'll sign my name twice. Okay, <laughs> me to Bob's giving along. Yes, it says the treasurer will prepare this financial, financial report. report, and you don't. <clears throat> I don't have a computer. I don't have anything that'll do something like that. So. Mm -hmm. I think this is what So do we need to change that? Do we need to change that in the bylaws then? Do we the court that, that Teresa will do that? Prepare the prepare the financial report. Yes. Yeah, just like I have been. Mm -hmm. That needs to be changed then. <clears throat> now does that mean you're going to uh, file the nine forty ones and the nine nineties too, Charlene? No. Nope. <laughs> Now what's that? <laughs> 941 is the tax forms. 990s is the uh, equivalent to the IRS tax form for nonprofit organizations. Mm -hmm. Was that the treasurer's job? I don't think she'd want it. <laughs> I didn't ask that. I said, is, I said, is that the treasurer's job? Okay, it she says. She has to that... sign off on it. She has to sign off on it. But I usually make up the 941s and I make up the 990s. Because I have to go back through all the records, collect all the data for um, how it breaks down with the IRS. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay a bookkeeper to do it. Okay, the way it says, the treasure with. I understood that. Okay. That's how everything is happening because it says with. It doesn't say that treasurer shall keep an accurate. It says that treasurer with the county recorder. The county coordinator. And that includes everything, including, including all of the forms that we have to have in for IRS and uh, everything else. So. How often do you have to do those reports, Teresa? The 941s have to be done quarterly. The 990 has to be done yearly. Plus, there's the report that goes to the county clerk's office mm -hmm. that has to be done at the end of the year. Yeah. And that's a itemized list of all the checks written for the whole year. And then you have to make up your totals, then you have to do all your incomes and um, interests, etc., etc. It just seems like we're having a lot of discrepancy on, on the deposits and withdrawals. And, I mean, always, we're always changing something. But I, I don't mind I don't mind you doing that, Teresa. Really, I don't. But uh, I think Charlene is our treasurer. She don't usually say anything. I'll be giving us the report. I mean, she is our treasurer. Mm -hmm. But Teresa gives it. Yes. 
Let, let Charlene do her job. Let, let her record it. Okay. <laughs> And I don't want to put you on I the don't want to be here that much longer. You get to December. <laughs> well, that's only... <laughs> <laughs> but I just didn't leave it like we had got it. Let Teresa do it. I mean, I'll, I'll gladly come in and sign checks if I have to come up here every day to sign checks. Because mm -hmm. I usually come to Lincoln. Well, my yeah, the way it was written. If, if these bylaws are patched, it's going to be like that for a while. So is that, is that the way it's going to be? The way they're written, or, or are we going to change something, say something different? The coordinator will give the financial report instead of the treasurer. But it, yeah, but that's what it says right now. It's, the coordinator does will keep the actual. Right. But she doesn't give the report. That's your job. I'll turn it over to her. I'm voiceless. <laughs> Okay, any other questions? I think this still needs to be resolved. Yeah, I do too. Do we change it or is it going to stay this way? Do you want more time to... I was going to say we can't vote on it anyway because we didn't receive this two yeah. weeks before okay. the meeting. Right. So, mm -hmm. According to the bylaws. Okay. Well, we, we have read through it. And you will have time then. Uh, uh, that's this. Do I have a motion that we? Can I bring up one other clarification? Sure. Okay, this map and the way changing. Wait a minute. You're voted in. It would take place when you're you're done. What now words what? do I want to say? That say? Again. I don't well, it's based on it's based on we've got population. people from four districts now. It would go back to three districts. This is the way it used to be: three districts, and it was so you aren't being kicked out until <laughs> your term is over with. Then this. Well, it'll be two from each. Okay, so so we'll have two less, more than three less. Must be ten. Okay, now you've got someone representing Lincoln and Sylvan. I don't care that they aren't here. I'm just okay. Uh, they aren't. A representative wouldn't actually be representing the senior centers. They would be voted from this and one at large who could be from Lincoln Senior Center or like I was going to say, I think there ought to be somebody representing the senior center. Well, that one at large could come from the senior center. It's thrown out there. Okay. Right now... From District 2, you've got Jan, Charlene Watson, and Charlene DeWitt, and Bob. Okay, then when they're gone, you'd only have two from all of them. And this is based on more that. That on. It's based on the pop. The pop districts are based on, on pop population. population. Okay. And uh, and then. Uh, okay, that makes sense. And it's kind of like commissioners are are divided up according to population. What you have there is the commission district. Yes. Okay. This. this is the, this oh, map the is the same as right. the commissioners. Yeah, uh, so the commissioner district. Okay. Okay. Do I have a motion for us to um, um, postpone voting on this until next meeting? You have time to read through it and digest it a little bit more. Um, 
Mm -hmm. And uh, then we will bow down it. Okay. Do I have a motion? I make a motion that we bow down it the next meeting. Okay. Do I have a second? A second. Okay. We moved and seconded that we you have time to study the bylaws and that we vote on them at the next meeting. All of those in favor, raise your right hand. Okay. Motion passed unanimously. All right. Okay, let's go back to the agenda then. Uh, any new business? Anybody know any new business? Becky, you want to give me a report? Becky. Sure. Um, you have my year in review financial. Oh, yeah. And Somewhere I went ahead and did the calendar because I don't. This is the report that I sent to Manhattan. And sometimes I put, I don't put everything on it because they only have so many spaces. And then my activity calendar for June, which was a busy month, June and July was even crazier, so, like for me personally. But, um, so we had, uh, we still continue the card ladies on the first and the third. Yeah, the first and the third <laughs> Mondays, and then first so that's third. Thursday. That's uh, Thursday. Second, and fourth. Fourth. second, second and fourth. fourth. Okay, I was like, still got car ladies. Oops, I must have a typo there. I put it on the fourth. They shouldn't be on there. I don't have a. I don't you know how they flip it over? They're not, they're not in the Looks like this. You didn't put them in both. Calendar one time. Well, it was not mine. It should have been in there. There. Nancy. I also do not have a new paper. That is great. Okay. Looks like this on one side. I got two of them. You got two. You got mine, didn't you? Should have been. Unless you got here. Right there. Right out of here. Now, turn it. Bob, he's got it. Turn it over and you've got the activity. And the other one. Activity. Okay, thank you. Okay, next one here. Yeah, that's it. She got mine. Okay. So you can kind of look through there. See, sorry, I don't know. I have something wrong with me that if I talk, I cough. So, um, that that we have kind of a lot of things going on, and we're continuing to build up our activities, and still trying to get utilizing our new space. We've been renting out the senior center quite a bit lately. Um, you and had what? You had four H. Uh, yeah, we had the four H sale, mm -hmm. and that worked amazing this year. Which there's so many kids in four H, but yeah, it was. I think there were the only building that they thought was big celebration in June. Yes, and I have a family reunion, and I have another family reunion coming up at the end, in mm -hmm. the second weekend in August. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I came in one night, and there were cars both sides. Wow. Yeah, it was packed. I thought, what's going on? It's always fun whenever somebody rents the senior center because the next when you come in that Monday, it's like, where's our chairs? Where's <laughs> our? <laughs> so. So, um, and then we've been building a relationship with um, that John from Angels Care. He's been coming and giving some really good programs on last month. He gave allergies and asthma. Um, and then, of course, everybody loves Ashley from K-State. She's one of our regulars. And then I need to make a call for the other girl, Cassie from K-State. She's a horticulturist, and she always gives them fun little tips. So. In parentheses, is that how many Yeah, people? that's how many people were there for that event. I try to mark it. I have a calendar that sits on my desk, and I just mark, like I count the heads okay. that are there. And our bingo is huge. On Mondays, we're getting bigger and bigger. Chris Loveless makes a lot of homemade goodies, and we've been selling, we've been actively promoting, um, trying to get a floor fund started. We understand, like, it's going to take us many years. So Chris... Um, <laughs> does a lot of baking and brings it in and I put it out on Facebook and boom, it's gone. So it's kind of exciting. And it also gets us out there, our name out there. And then also another thing that's really exciting for us is we were chosen as the revitalization grant recipient um, from the El Lincoln County Economic Development. They picked us and I think Sylvan Senior Center got picked too, that they're going to help us with the outside of our building and they proposed you guys are gonna love it. It looks awesome. Um, they proposed like painting it, and we got we're gonna get a new sign. And we haven't they haven't met with us. I think the open house is the 
6th or something like that. It's at the Senior Center. It'll be in the newspaper this week. Um, that they're going to have an open house and show you the plans. Because we had kind of met with them and discussed what they did that we liked and what we didn't like. And then they have to get bids on how much everything's going to cost. Because I'm sure once with our dream list, we'll start to have to shave some of that off. So, But it's really exciting. To, we're going to have a facelift on the Senior Center. Okay, did you... Did you bring your bill along for your new speaker? Or did you do it to Teresa? Or did you do it to Oh, my vacuum sweeper? Yes. No, I hadn't even got it from... Um, I think that what we were going to do with that is just pay it from our mill levy account. Oh, okay. And then it's just, so I just... Our vacuum sweeper at the Lincoln Senior Center died, and I saw Jan on the street, and I was like, can I go get one? Because I kind of need it, but... Because I thought I maybe we'd have to bring you guys, like, bids. But I just went across the street to Hayworth. They had a really nice one for $94 and carried it across, put it together, and it works. Yeah. With all of the activities that have been going on, there, yeah, we needed a vacuum. You can't do without a vacuum for very much longer. So she said it just fit the dust. Yeah, so I didn't bring you the receipt. We were just going to pay for it out of mill levy money. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But that, I want to let the rest of the council know that's what's going on. Okay. All right. Any other questions for Becky? All right. How about uh, the audit, Jan? How's the audit coming? You should be finished uh, for now. The last we knew, the, they said a couple. The last they said was a couple of weeks, didn't I they? I talked to uh, Liz yesterday, and she said that Megan, who is the um, main auditor, said that we should have the final works here this weekend, this week, sometime. This, sometime. Yeah, she's been out of the office quite a bit. Megan, who is the head auditor. Because all she has is underneath hers, like uh, other people, and it, there's quite a process to go through to get the audit because it has to go before her. Then she sends it on to policies and procedures, and then they send them back to Megan. She has to revamp it, so that's why I said. Whose uh, policies? Their, their policy their and procedures. Their policies and procedures. They have policy that Good. they have to follow. I think this has taken an extremely long amount of time. Not as long as, no, uh, it's not. It's not unusual. It's not, because our, the city of Beverly, we have had ours gone for about four months now. And they still don't have it completed. Well, they're, so they're they're in the so is complete. Huh? So has been completed. Well, about the last three weeks. Well, the audit is, the, the everything audit is, is gone, everything has been done. It's just them generating the final report. Mm -hmm what we're waiting for. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Cindy, yeah. do you have a report? Yeah. I, last uh, July 17th, I traveled at 5 a.m. over to Beloit and joined the bus there that was going to the 18 county uh, board meeting in Peabody, Kansas. It rained the whole way. It was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Uh, met with Tom Maxwell there in Beloit, and then we went to Glasgow and picked up one, and Minneapolis and picked up one, and Solomon and picked up one, and Slime and picked up two. And then on we went to Maxwell and had a wonderful meeting at the board meeting there. And all the committees met, as there's different committees that meet for different things. I'm on the advocacy committee. Uh, and right now, we're kind of advocating for the Sunflower Fair, <laughs> not that's so much of things at Topeka, uh, which is uh, what you'll find. I uh, counted out five each, if you would share those with five other seniors you know, you know, and maybe you can get together and those a car load down there. If you get before September 10th, it's only $20, and that includes a wonderful banquet uh, dinner. I think it's wonderful. I went 10 years in a row, didn't get to go last year, but I'm planning on this year. Or it's $25 at the door otherwise. And there's just all kinds of wonderful uh, events and booths and things to do there. And along with that, they would like to have uh, the senior centers and other uh, interests to have table decorations uh, for all the tables, and I think there was 90 tables. We, need, we decorate 90. 90. That, so if you if you want to come up with something that represents Lincoln, that would be great. And then auction items that we're needing so that they can raise money for the Council on Aging. Um, housing, there were 267 vouchers sent out, and 34 were being worked on. Of the 34, were 20 was approved. 
and 14 were being in process, and you have till August 8th to send those in. Is that correct? I think, but I don't have my notes. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, and so then we traveled back after a delicious dinner and a wonderful dessert. <laughs> then we, <laughs> that was the real thing I got out of it. It <laughs> was the food. <laughs> What did you eat in Peabody? You have the senior center? Yeah, the senior centers. Oh, no. When we travel to the different ones every two months is when the meetings are. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where the next one's going to be. I don't think it's been announced. It hasn't. And uh, uh, then we get a chance to meet with the other uh, senior centers and the other folks that are on the 18 county board and get to see how their senior center, like in Peabody, is run. And it's just a real good learning experience on, on what the... Uh, basically the standards are out there. And then whilst I was there, because I guess I think I did a good job in the evaluation, I got some more. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and so that, but I'm only, uh, at this point, I only evaluate the satellites, um, senior centers, not the ones that have full meals. That's another learning experience. I really? Guess. I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. So I'll get, I've been going what? to see the ones that are just satellites, and you know, you know what I mean when I mm -hmm. say that? The they get meals delivered from someplace yes, else. Yes, correct. They yeah. don't make them on site. Yeah. And we'd really encourage, I mean, I hope it would be great if Sylvan Grove would consider to be a satellite, increasing the my, uh, meals for people, for seniors. Other than that, I think that's about it until the next two months pass. Okay. Isn't Glenn Stigman also on this? He wasn't in attendance, so I don't know why. Uh, the Beloit bus takes a like area, what, that's the only reason I go up that way, and then they charge $10 a person to go up there, and, and it's camaraderie, and we get to visit up on the way, and visit on the way back, and tell what you know different places are doing, and what they're doing there. Mm -hmm. I read, so what's their theme this year? I think it says it's that a on grand the, time. It's a grand time. <laughs> Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, oh, that's on these things. Mm -hmm. Judy, you should have five of these. Yeah, I know, I did, but <laughs> I'm just thinking, okay, let's go and have a grand time if that yeah. was just a theme. <laughs> okay. I think like maybe they were running out of theme things and they thought, well, we want to have a grand time. Well, let's just use that. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Cindy. Mm -hmm. All right. Rose, we're ready for you. Well, since she's talking about Sunflower Fair, Lincoln County hasn't picked an honoree yet, a sunflower honoree. So the deadline was last week, so you really need to do that probably today, if at all possible, to pick an honoree. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> um, we're on the last day of the month, so we got a lot of old news here. I'm sorry about that. But, um, Karen's doing AOK Medicare Basic Workshops for people turning 65, and the next one, there's one in Beloit coming up. Um, August 17th, or you can come and see Teresa. She'll do the same thing for you. Um, the, the Sunflower Fair, yes, the grand time. And we try to ask, well, we've asked a lot of the senior centers to do a centerpiece because we do have to decorate 90 tables. And we have a bunch of sunflower decorations that we put on, but we try to... If you have one from your county, then I put it on your honorary table. So it's something special, and you can make it, and you can take it back home with you if you want to. So I'm just putting that out there. If you have an honorary and you'd like to send a centerpiece, it'll, it will go on your honorary table. Um, right. Yes. Take this back to whoever. Every year, I make advance reservations. And when you get in there... Every year they don't have me. Huh. They got something against me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean you gotta you're supposed to do this to come through. Yeah. And that's what the early registrations are yes. that you have there. But they they well, never have me. Darn it. <laughs> I'll have to remind somebody of that. <laughs> You do get a nice, Make you sure. get a bunch of stuff when you pre-register. Last year was lousy. You didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. I, 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 I wrote a report. 
the stuff you got or the registration? The whole thing last year I thought was lousy and I wrote a report and I talked to that, no, not Julie, but someone under her actually called me with the letter. Huh. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just and in the arena. <laughs> and she, part of it she agreed with. I'll give you a good time in the arena. <laughs> but that's okay. all I know about. But I did hear, they were talking about workshops they were going to have. Do you remember what they were? Paul Ship with Kansas Legal Services is doing um, Living Will and Durable Power of Attorney. They talked about bullying. Yeah, something about bullying of seniors. And then um, they usually do some kind of a food class. And I know last year they did line dancing, and I think they were talking about that, which everybody loved that. Um, they're having the tractor show. I just can't remember. I can't remember all the workshops. I haven't had them listed, so we'll have them in next month for positive. Did they have very many seniors in the line dance? Yes, really. <laughs> and you know, I even go to some senior centers where they actually—that's one of their fun activities. They do line yeah. dancing. They have better joints yeah. than we do. <laughs> <laughs> the honoree, does she get her way paid, or he get their way paid by the by the commission, or LCCA? Yes, we usually yeah, pay. yeah, we usually. Well, can we make a motion? I'll make I'll make a motion that Judy Alvarez goes. What? And, and we'll pay your way. <laughs> and that way you get an honoree table. That way you don't have to look around. I don't <laughs> do that, that much Somebody for else the. Better send the early, uh, registration. <laughs> early early registration. <laughs> yeah, but if we if we vote today. We'll pay your way to go and represent us. Yes. You'll but go? what I'm saying is I don't do that much. Like we don't some expect you to line dance. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you would do that, I'll make the motion that you well, will pay your way to go. I'd be honored, but I don't think I do that much. I'll make well, well, here. She's, she's been on that. She was on the bylaws committee, and she, and she be, lots of input that. on the bylaws. Committee. I'll make the motion yeah, that we send Judy Alvarez in our place to the fair. For I'll second it. There you go, Judy. Okay. All those so in favor of sending Judy as our representative, raise your right hand. You're it, dear. <laughs> Good, do as well. That take care of this. <laughs> now, Judy, you're going to have to stay, stick around, and give me a little history. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you need a little biography. Yeah. 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 Couple snapshots. Western boots when you do your line. She's like, I've got four or five fairy in the bar. She has to do line dancing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, she can learn from that. Yeah, huh. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's Moving on, we're gross. Okay. So um, we're talking about a lot of safe medication disposal kiosks now are starting to be like in your pharmacies. You don't have to wait for a time um, to go take them to your health department or wherever, pick them up. I know Walgreens and places like that are starting to have them where you can just take them in there and dump them in the kiosk and you don't have to worry about them anymore. Can this be republished? What? About the drugs. The reason being, on Facebook, Darlene from Recycling, someone put sharps oh, in. Yeah. Oh. I went and made a post asking the hospital. Finally, LaDonna Reiner, health administrator, you know, said, put it on there. But this is something... True, it's not yeah, here in Lincoln, yeah, but it needs to be advertised more. And that's what I was. Can you take this and advertise it more? Well, that's what or we're trying. Or even personally. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do, get the news out now. Okay. Well, the hospital has to do, uh, dispose of them a legal way. But I, what I'm getting room. at is I comment, we used to take them as long as they were in like a milk jug, a soda bottle, mm -hmm. we took them. But I haven't worked there in eight years, so who knows what their policy is. I just really wanted this to be out more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And then remember that we still have um, each one reach one, and that is for Medicare's extra help. Um, if you know of anyone who might be in need of extra help, um, you can contact area agency with their or have them contact area agency, and their name goes in a drawing, and your name goes in a drawing. Also, Teresa is great at helping with Medicare extra help. Part of her job, right? Mm -hmm. um, surveys we were talking about. The 18 county board members are doing the um, center evaluations. They do it once a year. They're all asked to take several centers, if at all possible, and they go to them. They ask them a ton of questions. Um, it's to get them ready for all of their inspections, like your um, Kansas Department of Ag inspection, fire marshal. You're making sure you have all your signs posted, making sure your manager knows all the answers to the right questions, and the cooks know the answers to their temperatures, things like that. So they cannot do their own county, though, because that would not be fair. Conflict of interest. Conflict of interest. And Cindy, yes, she did get several. <laughs> New person. And I know Glenn Stegman has gotten a couple of them, too, so because he's on the 18-county board. I can't remember who he's supposed to do, and I can't remember who's doing Lincoln. I should have looked before I came, but Nobody it'll be somebody. Are doing Lincoln. Oh, they are? Mm -hmm. Two are? Mm -hmm. Why are they two? I don't know if they made that change. They changed their ground last Oh, I didn't see that. I've been sending them out. I'll have to check that out. Huh. And then we also did the Mills Program surveys. Um, uh, did you send you sent yours back with Karen yesterday? Mm -hmm. That gets in home delivery people asking their opinion about the Mills program. That gets put on some big spreadsheet and um, percentages are gained from it. And I don't know when we'll have that all done. Um, we talked about the advocacy at the board meeting. Right now, we can all just keep saying thank you very much because it's they put everything in here that we needed, but. You know, October 1st starts the new year where they're going to start the new budget, so we need to stay on top of it, make sure we're all talking to our representatives and let them know how important all of these things are for seniors. Um, National Senior Center Month is going to be held in September, um, so that's a good, good time to market your senior centers. Family Caregiver Talk Show is coming up August 15th. They're going to try and do it on something about safe driving for seniors. I think that was a workshop, too, that they might have had at the fair, or that they might be going to have. They had it last year. And that was well attended, because, you know, sometimes you lose some of those skills of driving. And I think it coordinated with your insurance. Yeah. If you took it. I think so. Um, let's see. Farmer's Market, don't forget, if you haven't got your vouchers, I think at the board meeting they still said they had several packets of vouchers. And remember, even if your town doesn't have a Farmer's Market, you can use them somewhere else, as long as that vendor accepts the vouchers. So you just have to call North Central Flint Hills, and the income guidelines are here on page 5, if you're unsure of that. Okay. Um, they're going to do a walk to end Alzheimer's in Manhattan, September 22nd, at the City Park, if anyone's interested in joining that. Um, you talked about the housing already, and I think that's all I have. I'm glad you chose your honoree. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the biography in if Teresa has a biography. or honoree? Honoree, honoree, she will not have any trouble registering this year. <laughs> Put a big sunflower on her head. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Teresa, anything else that you uh, coordinate? I, I have the reports here, but I want to let everybody know that we have a new mental health counselor here in town. Her name is Josie Wacker. Um, she'll be at the health department if anybody needs that assistance and like I said she's a young person she just got married here not too long ago her and Deb Barley stopped by here probably about two weeks two weeks ago and we visited quite a while and she uh, Deb brought in the 
what the highlights of the 2017 uh, Central Kansas Mental Health Center was. Also, I went to the providers meeting at the health department the other day. There's a new grant that OCCK is putting out, and it is uh, regarding Alzheimer's. And basically what it is, is this grant can help anybody that's 40 years or older with Down syndrome and their caregiver. Caregivers can be paid or unpaid. Any individual with IDD that is 40 years old or older in which the caregiver has identified concerns due to change in behavior that is not consistent with typical behavior. So basically, it's just, we're talking about Alzheimer's. But they found out that people with Alzheimer's do better when they have exercise. And so what they're going to do is take them through a six to nine week training of how to motivate their patient or whatever to do these exercises and it helps them stay focused and um, more with it. But they're finding out that this actually works really well. So um, if anybody's interested in that or knows somebody that could benefit from that, you just need to get a hold of OCCK. And I have my reports here. Go ahead. Oh, That's yes. Me. Okay. Well, well <laughs> we got to find a caregiver for you. Yeah. <laughs> well. Here, Bob, pass those around, please. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and um, I think, and of course that John Etheridge stopped by and we had quite a conversation about local issues, etc., etc. He's the guy from Angels Home Health Care. And that is my day-to-day -day report. So um, I made sure that there was no phone numbers, no he, she, they, whatever's in there. So because... Um, and I did go, go to training on Friday the 20th, it would have been a week ago, Friday the 20th, I guess it was. And um, went to Schick training, and it was down at Salina, and got um, basically recertified for Schick for another year. Basically, um, some things were changing. Um, one of the things that I found out that... Um, there's three Medicaid um, companies. It's, um, it's been Sunflower, United Healthcare, and AmeriCorps, AmeriGroup, and AmeriGroup has left as of July 1st. And so we have quite a few people out here that are on AmeriGroup. I had a lady call me the other day, and she was trying to get a phone, and I told her, I said, do you realize that the company that you're with is no longer in the state of Kansas, and she said no, nobody's let her know, but they should have received a um, information on uh, that AmeriGroup was leaving the state of Kansas, and somebody's supposed to come in, but nobody knows for sure who the new company will be. So, like I said, we have some people that are going to be uh, floundering for a while, so it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. There was an article in the Slime Journal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They won't get transferred over to something else? Well, they're supposed to they're pick. Supposed to. They're supposed okay, to my pick. My dad's on that. I'm not. I've not gotten anything. They about should that. have received something before this because um, mm -hmm. the way it was told to us that they this would have was all in the works and it would have affected July first. Huh. So. Okay. Hmm. It didn't give them much time to do. No, anything. they did not. They did not. Well, that's not good. It was probably in the works for a long period, but it's it's just they didn't the let anybody know. That, you know All right. Does anybody else have any other questions or comments? Tricia, do you have a phone number for that OCCK? Mm -hmm. And is there a distant time or, you know, length where? No, you just need to contact them and they'll do the assessment, I guess, is where. Let's see, 785. And also, again, I like that. With Bob and I went and had coffee here a couple weeks ago up in Sylvan. It was really nice. There was no negative. Very friendly. And then they invited us to their uh, potluck dinner where they have their meetings afterwards. And I don't want to overstep myself, but I think it was something that would be good for our group. They have a potluck, either breakfast, dinner, lunch. Anybody can come, and then they have their meeting. They they included us in their meeting. They didn't, you know, ask us to leave or anything. 
and it was really very relaxing. And I didn't know if would be interested in something like that, you know, because to bring them back, we've got to communicate together. And they're great people. They're really, you know, they, they were, they're working hard to get the seniors to do things so they don't have to pay out of the pocket. And I think if everybody could start letting the past be the past and let's work for the future because there's seniors over there that really needs help. And Jan and uh, Lois, she ta I mean, I'm sorry, Lois and Ray, she's 90 years old, both of them. He's got Alzheimer's and she takes care of him. And they came to our bingo week ago Monday. That's so, Lou. 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 I mean, oh. yeah, I do. I know, yeah. And she do. really, you know, and she there's really more of them out there that needs our help. Mm -hmm. So I think everybody needs to let bygones be bygones, and let's bring them back in and show them that we do want them in our, you know, community gatherings and stuff. Okay, all right. We'll certainly think about that. Okay. Um... The only other thing is, I, I know we did not pass, we did not pass the uh, bylaws, but uh, would everybody be uh, willing to meet at 9 a.m. next week, next week, uh, next month? I mean, you got to get out of bed early. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're retired. You want yeah, to get I, out know. Bed I know. Okay. Would everybody I make a motion that we meet at nine o'clock? I think it. To make easier for people to go to lunch at the senior center. Okay. And give us more time to discuss things too. All right. All right. Anybody go? Anybody? Nobody wants. Is that okay second. with everybody? Hands up with those. That's okay. Just we I don't have a second. I second. Oh, <laughs> just for next week or oh. Well, for next Change. month. Next month. For and next month. And then we'll vote on, on the. Then we'll vote on the bylaws. Okay. okay. So are we going to be able to take these home today? Study them. Yes. Yeah, no, you can take, take the bylaws. Book out of bylaws. Not the book, but you, you can, can take those papers. Okay. Yeah, you can take right. the bylaws with you. Uh -huh. <sighs> okay. All right. Motion to adjourn. No. I make it. Oh. No. I make a motion to the uh, executive session for 15 minutes. Four. Four. I have some concerns and issues. I need to say more than that. Is there a second? I'll second. All right. You can't do it, can they? You can't do that unless you get specified what you want to go for. Hmm. Mona, you should read just that. What is it? All right, it's about personal matters. You have that sheet I brought in that's got all the free that they go in. You gave that to somebody else. I gave it to somebody else. Personnel matters. That'll make a difference. That's all. Yes. Okay. Personnel matters. Is that a, acceptable? Yes. Finished. Okay, I'll suck. Okay. She uh, Nancy is already oh. seconded. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well those other the people other than those that play on the board, please leave the room. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Well that's okay. Um, I just want to tell you, we are going to, what was brought up in executive session is for further study by the board, and now I will entertain your motion to adjourn, Charlene. Okay, I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Okay, a second? I second. Okay, all right. Move and seconds will be adjourned. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. And we'll meet at 9 o'clock next week.